Hello everybody, my name is Sean. Welcome to today's lesson. Today's lesson is from the Smart World book, Grade 7. Alright, let's get started. Today's lesson is on overpopulation. Smart World 7. Theme 7, Lesson 2. Okay, let's begin. The contents of today's lesson will include three main parts. New words, where we will learn vocabulary related to the topic of overpopulation. The next part will be the listening, where we will do a listening activity, where we hear friends talking about overpopulation and the effects it has on environments and cities. The last part is the practice, where we will put to use the vocabulary we have learnt in the new words as well as from the listening to practice speaking about overpopulation and its effects. By the end of this lesson, you will be able to talk with your friends about the effects of overpopulation. So, let's get started. I learn Smart World 7, Grade 7, Students' Book. The first part of our lesson, Lesson 2, page 66. We will talk about the effects of population growth and study the new words related to the topic. So, let's get started. Are you ready? Theme 7, Lesson 2. Overpopulation. New words. As you can see, we have four pictures. Each picture has a related word from the new words section. So, listen to the new words and repeat. The first one is crime. 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 Wildlife. Wild life. Wild life. Slums. 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 And finally, pollution. 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 So, we need to write the words under the pictures and choose the correct answer. There are four pictures. Each one has a word that relates to the picture. As in the example in number one is pollution. Pollution is anything that damages or makes our environment dirty and unsafe. As in the picture for number one, you can see factories giving off smoke. That smoke pollutes the air. It makes the air that we breathe dirty. So, you need to try pictures two, three, and four. I will give you a description of each word to help you. Crime. Crime is something that we do wrong. When we do something wrong that is against the law or rules of a city or country, it is a crime. For example, if we take something that does not belong to us. Okay? Wildlife. Wildlife are things that exist in nature. For example, plants and animals. 
slums. Slums are an area of small, cheaply built houses, usually where poor people live, that have no well-built roads, very poorly, badly built houses, and many poor people who often do not have clean water to drink or enough food. And the last one, pollution, as I explained to you, anything that is harmful, dangerous to our environment. What does effect me? A. A place with nothing. B. Something that is caused by change. Or C. Doing something wrong. All right, have you tried that? Let's have a look if we have got the correct answers. So there we can see the answers for the new words. Number one is pollution. Pollution. We can see the factories causing pollution in the air. Number two, slums. Slums. In the picture you can see many people surrounded by houses built very poorly using materials generally that people find lying around. We can see there are no well-built roads and many of the people who live here are often very poor, have no jobs, or access to clean water or enough food. 3. Wildlife Wildlife We can see a deer, an animal in the picture, surrounded by trees, grass and water. Those three things are all called wildlife. And picture four is crime. Crime. In the picture, we can see the man dressed in black, covering his face, taking something out of a safe that does not belong to him. That is a crime called stealing. What does effect mean? Answer is B. Something that is caused by a change. Okay? For example, pollution will affect wildlife. As in, it is dangerous for the animals. That changes the way the animals will be able to live and carry on with their lives. So it has an effect on them. Something that is caused by a change is an effect. Exercise B. We need to ask an answer about big cities and the pollution in them. So, in the speech bubble, we can see, do you think there's a lot of pollution in... Dot, dot, dot. So, let's use our city, Ho Chi Minh City, as an example. Do you think there's a lot of pollution in Ho Chi Minh City? I think, yes, there is. Because Ho Chi Minh is one of the biggest cities in Vietnam, with many people living here. So, that means we have many cars, motorbikes, buses, factories, and these things all cause pollution. Then we can ask, do you think there's a lot of pollution in, let's say, Bao Lok? north of Vietnam, in the central side, we would say not as much as Ho Chi Minh because there are fewer people that live there. All right, I hope you guys all got and understood that. Let's carry on to the next part of our lesson. Part 2 of lesson 2, page 66, is a listening activity where people will talk about the effects of population growth. 
Population refers to the number of people living in one place, in a city or country. For example, the population of Ho Chi Minh City is roughly around 11 million people, I think. All right, so let's have a look at the listening activity. Theme 7, Lesson 2 overpopulation listening exercise a some students are doing a project on overpopulation listen and write yes or no let's read the questions together the speakers say one there are a lot of poor people Yes or no? Number one is the example, and the answer is yes. Next question. Because there aren't enough beds in hospitals, so we must listen and write yes or no. Question two. There aren't many slums. Last question from exercise A. There aren't enough classrooms and teachers. Then in exercise B it says circle the correct words. The speakers say number one the example what are or is the effects of overpopulation? The correct answer is are. What are the effects of overpopulation? Next one, there aren't uh, jobs for people or there aren't enough jobs for people. Two, there aren't enough houses or there isn't enough houses. Last one, there aren't enough place for wildlife or there aren't enough places for wildlife. All right, so get ready. I will read the audio to you, and while I read, you can do the answers. Let's go. Listening question one, the example. Starts with Kim. Okay, let's start planning our project on overpopulation. What are the effects? of overpopulation. There are a lot of poor people. Why is that? Because there aren't enough jobs for people. Okay, a lot of poor people. Do you think there are a lot of sick people because of overpopulation? Yes, because there aren't enough beds in hospitals. I agree. What else? There's a lot of pollution. Why? Because there are too many cars, trucks and motorbikes. All right, listening question two starts with Ben. He says, do you think there are a lot of slums because of overpopulation? I do, because there aren't enough houses. I agree. Anything else? I think there aren't enough places for wildlife. Why do you think that? Because people build more houses, so there isn't enough space for animals to live. You're right. Do you think crime is one of the effects of overpopulation? I'm not sure. I think another effect of overpopulation is there aren't enough classrooms and teachers. 
I agree. So, what's the biggest effect of overpopulation? I think the biggest effect of overpopulation is there aren't enough jobs. I disagree. I think the biggest... Now, listen again and check. Alright, listening one. Okay, let's start planning our project on overpopulation. What are the effects of overpopulation? There are a lot of poor people. Why is that? Because there aren't enough jobs for people. Okay, a lot of poor people. Do you think there are a lot of sick people because of overpopulation? Yes, because there aren't enough beds in hospitals. I agree. What else? There's a lot of pollution. Why? Because there are too many cars, trucks and motorbikes. Listening question 2. Do you think there are a lot of slums because of overpopulation? I do, because there aren't enough houses. I agree. Anything else? I think there aren't enough places for wildlife. Why do you think that? Because people build more houses, so there isn't enough space for animals to live. You are right. Do you think crime is one of the effects of overpopulation? I'm not sure. I think another effect of overpopulation is there aren't enough classrooms and teachers. I agree. So, what's the biggest effect of overpopulation? I think the biggest effect of overpopulation is there aren't enough jobs. I disagree. I think the biggest... And that's the end. So, let's have a look at our answers. Listening exercise A. Listen and write yes or no. The speakers say there are a lot of poor people. Number one. There are a lot of poor people. The answer is yes. Next one. Because there aren't enough beds in hospitals. The answer for that is yes. The speakers do say that. Then, question two. There aren't many slums? The answer is no, because the speakers say there are many slums. And last one from exercise A, there aren't enough classrooms and teachers. Correct answer is yes, the speakers do say that. In B, circle the correct words, the speakers say. Number one, what are the effects of overpopulation? The correct answer is R, so we circle R. Next, there aren't enough jobs for people. The correct answer is enough, so we circle enough. Question two, there aren't enough houses. Correct answer is aren't, so we circle aren't. And last one, there aren't enough places for wildlife. Correct answer is places, so we circle places. Alright, let's continue. Useful language. Listen, then practice. What are the effects of overpopulation? There are lots of 
poor people. Why is that? Because there aren't enough jobs. So, you can go back and practice that with your friend, your sister, or by yourself. All right. What are the effects of overpopulation? There are lots of poor people. Why is that? Because there aren't enough jobs. All right. So, you can practice that useful language to help you speak about the effects of overpopulation. Let's continue. Part 3 of Lesson 2, page 67, talking about the effects of population growth, pronunciation and practice. Let's go. Pronunciation means the way you say the words. It says, stress the negative auxiliary verbs in the sentence. That word is aren't. So, let's listen to the two sentences in exercise B. There aren't enough houses. There aren't enough houses. There aren't enough hospitals. There aren't enough hospitals. So we put emphasis, we stress the word aren't to show that there are not enough hospitals. All right, then lastly, the practice. You need to practice the conversation. So, I will read it for you. It starts with Ben. What are the effects of overpopulation? There is a lot of pollution. Why is that? Because there are too many cars. Anything else? Yes, there are too many slums. Why? Because there aren't enough houses. Okay, then we can use the options on the right hand side of the dialogue and change them. So, listen, this time we will use crime and classrooms. What are the effects of overpopulation? There is a lot of crime. Why is that? Because there aren't enough police. Anything else? Yes, there are too many students in a class. Why? Because there are too many because, sorry, because there aren't enough classrooms and teachers. Okay, so we can practice that using the different prompts on the right hand side. We'll do it one more time with poor people and sick people. Let's go. Ben says, what are the effects of overpopulation? There are a lot of poor people. Why is that? Because there aren't enough jobs. Anything else? Yes, there are too many sick people. Why? Because there aren't enough doctors. So, if you are at home, you can practice that with your friends or your brothers and sisters. Okay. Then, your homework will simply be to practice speaking and pronunciation of the new words, useful language, and the practice. All right, you guys got that? That's all for today. Thank you, and see you next time. Goodbye.